the age old question on which fast food restaurant is better which pizza is tasting better huh that's what we're gonna do everybody talking about oh mcdonald's is better daddy oh oh no 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 uh kfc is better uh, what, oh, what about Carl's Jr.? What about Subway? Oh, that Iaco Bell. We're going to figure this out right now. What I have right here is a chart that it ranges from A to S. I don't know what S stands for. I don't know why they just didn't put F or E, like a normal grading scale, but whatever. I'm not a doctor. I don't know all the answers. Uh, we'll just make A for absolutely tasty, S for super sucky. Okay. All right, here we got Arby's. Arby's, uh, now I love that roast beef sandwich, but I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while since I had some of that A-R-B-Y-S. But I remember you fondly, Arby's. I remember you fondly. And I like your, your slogan. It's the meats. Taste the meats? We got the meats. We have the meats. Next we have Panda Express. Now I've had Panda Express a couple of times, but I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's absolutely, absolutely horrible. You got me stuttering. I'm, you're going super sucky. I don't even have to think about that. Carl's Jr., another fave of mine. I like the fries, I'm not gonna lie. I like the fries, I like that they have those really big burgers. For people who don't know, Carl's Jr. and Hardee's are the exact same thing. And I used to work at Hardee's. Hardee's was my first job. I remember that. Put you right there. They have really good peach cobbler too. Domino's pizza, huh? We're gonna skip Domino's because we're gonna put all the pizzas. What? We'll, we'll go with it. Alright, so Domino's. Domino's got that nice buttery, uh, that crust. Type of crust that when you see it, it makes you all warm and fuzzy on the inside because you know you're about to eat good. You know what I mean? It, it does something to me every time I look at it. The smell of it. <sighs> used to grab this when we were little yeah boy and you get that five 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 deal you get the, the medium five dollar pieces can't beat that i'm gonna put you a should i do it i don't know you think you deserve that a i think you deserve that a oh now we got the chick filler chick fil a is automatically going to the a i mean we don't even have to we don't even have to Discuss it honestly, but since we're here, we're gonna. That Chick Fil A sandwich is so daggone delicious. I I understand why the line is always long. At Chick Fil A, the line is always long. Always. Plus, get you a nice chicken sandwich with that Polynesian sauce, man. You can't beat that. Chipotle, pff, automatic A, automatic A. I should have started with Chipotle. One of Chipotle's best things that they have this, uh, what is it called? Chorizo. That chorizo sausage, and it like sausage and chicken mashed. I don't know what it is, but it's delicious. It comes like once a year. I get a little bit of that, a little bit of that queso on top. Not a big cheese person, but for that queso, I'll slap a baby. All right, we got this Little Caesar. Now Little Caesar's, the pizza, it's okay. I mean, it's not that great, but where else can you go and get a $5 hot and ready? You get a $5 hot and ready, you walk in there with $5, you walk out with a pizza. You don't got to wait around. You don't have to put an order in. You don't have to log into any type of app. You just walk in with your little $5 and you get that pizza. I'm going to give you a C, baby. Good looking out. C for Caesars. DQ. Now the food's not that great at Dairy Queen. The food is just not that appetizing. But I'll tell you what is good. I'm gonna tell you what is good even though I don't even eat the ice cream, but it's the ice cream, hashtag spoiler alert. The ice cream is pretty darn good. I don't like ice cream. Now, I know you guys are thinking, why don't, oh, Ryan the God, why don't you like ice cream? This is why. I don't think anything should be that cold. I like to hurry up and eat my stuff. I don't wanna eat a little bit and then I gotta wait, oh, cause I feel a brain freeze coming on. I feel my nose getting cold because I ate too much ice cream. And then your tongue gets all chilly and you can't taste all the flavors that are in it. Come on, man. Food wasn't meant to be like that. That's not how God intended it to be. This is Five Guys burgers. I don't know what there was for it. Five Guys is okay. I mean, I love the seasoning salt that they have. The burgers are phenomenal. 
but the fries are just really bad. They're just not that good, man. They're just not that good, daddy. They're just not that good, boy. Five guys. Ah, oh, man. If I gave Arby's a B, you know what? I'm going to change, man. I'm sorry, Arby's. I'm going to put you in the C. I'll put you in the C. Five guys, you're going to the B with old Carl Jr.'s up there. In and out. Now, I lived in L.A. for eight years. People love in and out Burger. in and out is kind of like the Chick-fil-A. Sometimes their, long, their lines are even longer than Chick-fil-A lines. I don't know what it is, but I have, I have to deduct points because their fries are horrible, absolutely horrible. And they have like this secret animal style, but it's not on the menu. I never understood why I have a secret menu. Oh, you can go and get that, you know, super thick burger, but you gotta say, uh, Harry Potter's the greatest when they give you your receipt back and then that's how you know that you can, like, what is the point of all this, this secrecy? You don't want people to know about ingredients? Is that what it is? You just don't want people to know that you have two patties on your burger instead of just one patty? Oh, oh, Ronald over there got three pieces of cheese because he gave the secret handshake to the cashier. Like, come on, man. Just, I don't like that. The burgers are really good, though. But because of that, I'm, I'm putting you in the seat. You're going in the seat. Um, look at Panda. You're down here looking lonely, buddy. You're down here looking lonely. Jack in the Box. Now, for those who don't know, you can get a, a taco at Jack in the Box. You can get nuggets. You can probably get a corn dog, uh, a chicken sandwich, a burger. You get a little bit of everything. Now, normally when most restaurants give you all those things, like their food sucks. It's only like kind of good because they're, they're spread so wide. But Jack in the Box. J and the B. They're on to something. They come with that heat all the time. I've never had a bad drink or a bad meal. Never had a bad fry. They never messed up my order. I would say, Jack in the Box, that you are a material. I'm going to slide you in that A spot, boy. Get in there. Sit right there. Sit right there. You No, no, no. You sit right there. Where are you going? No, you go back right there. That's you. KFC. I'm not a big KFC person. I don't... I mean, the sides are good. You have great sides. But, uh... I don't know, man. If I'm going to eat out fast food, I normally just want like a burger or whatever. But I've had Jack. I've had KFC. I've had that chicken. Okay? I've had that mashed potato. I've had that uh, that side of them green beans. I've also had uh, another side of them, uh, that macaroni and queso. Macaroni and cheese, for those who don't know. So it's safe to say that you've earned your spot at the B spot. I'll put you on the B. B stands for brave. For brave bones of the chicken. Moment of silence for the chicken. Alright, that's enough. Mickey D's. Old faithful. Hmm? Old trace old trusty and old faithful. We're gonna put this little hitter up here in the A. There's, there's no if you're saying that McDonald's is disgusting, shoot yourself. There's nothing wrong with McDonald's. Is it the healthiest? No. But it's not supposed it's not meant to be eaten every day. You're not supposed to do that. You supposed it's a, McDonald's is a treat. Going out should be like a treat or like you're just in a rush, you don't have time to cook, something like that. That's what fast food is for. Not for if you're going on a diet and you're running a marathon and you want to be in the best shape possible. I'm going to run over here and get two McFlurries and an apple pie and a, a McDouble plus a small fry for $3 at McDonald's. <laughs> Papa J. Now, Papa John's, I'm a little... It's bittersweet. Papa John's, uh, I guess, the original PJ says, says some racial stuff. And as you can tell, I am of the melanin, darker pigment section. But the pizza's good. But it's very costly. But you get what you pay for. You, you get what you pay for. So it's kind of, I don't know. But I'm not going to go off emotion. I'm just going to go strictly based off of the food, okay? 
The food is pretty good. Food is pretty good. I'm gonna put you in the B. The only reason some people are saying the Papa John's is better than Domino's, debatable. That's debatable. But I put them in the B because Papa John's is pricier than Domino's. That's why I did it. You don't like it? Shoot me. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. I'm not. I mean, Pizza Hut's okay. It's. It's okay, man. I'm gonna put it right beside the Little Caesars. Cause I think they got something going on anyway. The pizza kinda tastes the same to me. To me. To me. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything. Popeyes. Now Popeyes would have been maybe C. But since they came out with that chicken sandwich, Daddy, that chicken sandwich is hitting something nice. We're gonna take uh old Popeye here, put you in the B. We're gonna put you beside KFC. Put some pressure on Colonel Sanders. Let him know that you out here. That you out here. Yeah, talk junk to him. Talk trash to him. Yeah, let him know. Sonics. Now, Sonics, they're they're pretty good, but they're not they they're not like amazing to me. They're not amazing to me. Um, they have these like breakfast toasters that are pretty darn good. You know, I'm not gonna write home to my girlfriend about it, but. It's, it's okay. It's okay. I'll put you in the seat. I'll put you in the seat. You stay right there. Stay right there. Burger King. Now, if you like Burger King, you might as well unsubscribe right now. If you're a Burger King lover, hit that unsubscribe button. Not really, though. It was just a joke. So, if you did click it, just click it back. Just, you know, it was just a joke. Don't Please don't unsubscribe. I love you. The only thing Burger King has going for them is that Whopper. That is the only thing. If it's not for that Whopper, or maybe that uh, sausage, egg, and cheese croissant, delicious in the morning. Other than that, no. I'm gonna put you in a D. I'm gonna put you in a D. Subway. Subway's all right. Subway's, I mean, the tastes are pretty good. The sandwiches are pretty good. Nothing really amazing about it. Um, it, helped, it helped the guy lose 500 pounds. Fun fact, that guy also went to jail for some illegal activities. I'm not gonna say what he did. This is a kid-friendly channel, so I'm not gonna say that. If you wanna look it up, you can. I'm, I'm not your parents, I'm not saying you can't, but uh, Jared from Subway went to jail. Now he's Jared from jail. Taco <laughs> Bell, TB, Yako Belizo. Taco Bell has been consistently Messing people's stomach up for about I don't know 30 years now, maybe 40. I don't know what they're putting in that in that meat, but uh, in that season, I don't think that seasoning is the best for anybody. I also remember that there was an article saying that Taco Bell didn't use real meat in their tacos. Actually, let me see if I can find it. Horse meat, boom. There it is right there. There it is right there. What are you doing, Taco Bell? You know what, just for that, just for that Taco Bell, where you at? Where'd you, where'd I put you? Are oh, you still down here? You're going in the D. You're going in the D because you use horse meat. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. Moving on. Oh, Wendy. Oh, Wendy. Now, one thing I never understood about Wendy, why do they use square patties? Why do you use square patties? I like your boldness. I like that you're different. Uh, your food tastes amazing. You get that four for four deal. Uh, now you have a five for five or five dollar bag, something like that, I don't know. You have good sauces, good fries, and the only thing I wish you did, I wish you served breakfast. I know some do, but you don't here. And until you're serving breakfast everywhere, then you're not serving breakfast in my eye, in my eyes. I'm gonna put you in the B. Should I put you in the B? Or should I put you in the A? Comment down below if you think Wendy should go in the A or B. I'm gonna put you in the B. But if you deserve to go in the A, if you guys think she deserves the A, you comment that down below. White Castle S. Now, I'm not even gonna go into it. You you super suck, White Castle. What are you doing with your life? What are you doing? That's it for this video guys. If you haven't done so already, hit that like button. After that, hit that subscribe, then scroll over. 
hit that notification bell so you know when I post videos. The PlayStation 5 uh, giveaways are coming up. They're coming up. You don't want to miss them because I'm going to make them really fast for all my real subscribers. I'm going to make them really, really fast. That's it for today. I will see you on another video. Yeah.